In this video, we're going to be looking at the Contacts app that is included with the iPad. You can use the Contacts app to add multiple contacts, keep information such as telephone numbers and email addresses and websites and things of that nature for each individual person that's in your life. We're going to go to the home screen and start by finding the Contacts app. Now I know that the Contacts app is located somewhere in the center of the second row, so what I'm going to do is actually find the second row. YouTube. Messages. YouTube. And then just slide my finger Double across. Double tap to open. Videos. Contacts. Double tap to open. And I'm going to double tap with one finger to open the app. Contacts. All contacts. Once the app is open, I'm going to look for the Add New Contact button. Contact index. Search. Selected. Add contact button. Now double tap there. Add contact. Text field. Is editing. Once I double tap on the Add Contact button, it puts me into a new blank contact and automatically puts the focus or my cursor into the first name field. So I'm going to add my colleague's contact information. His name is Bill. I'm going to type the name and... Space. Capital N. Capital B. Capital B. I. I. O. P return. L. 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 Once I'm done with that, again, I'm going to just kind of move my finger on the screen until I hear the last name. Text field. Is editing. Clear text. Mobile. Button. Mm -hmm. Company. Last. Okay. Text field. Double and I'm tap. Gonna double to edit. tap. One thing to note here is as I'm moving from field to field, VoiceOver does not know which field I'm going to be editing next. So I have to double tap into each blank field so that I can tell VoiceOver this is where I want the next text that I'm going to enter. Okay. So I went to the last name field and I double tapped on it. So now I'm going to type the last name and my colleague's name is Smith. Capital W. C capital A. Capital S. Capital S. Space M. My M. U. U. Y. U. I. I. Ringtone. Button. R. T. 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 Y. G. H. H. Okay. And once I'm done with that, again, I'm going to find the last name field on the screen. Text field. Is editing. Smith. Okay. And I'm going to flick to the right. Clear text. But mobile. Button. Okay. Mobile. Activate to choose type. It says mobile button. This is a button that gives me a bunch of different options so I can label what the next field is. But let me just explore. So if I double tap this button, here's what happens. Label. Heading. Okay. It gives me a, a list of options of how to label the next field. So it could be mobile. It could be... Selected. Mobile. iPhone. iPhone. Home. Home. Work. Work. Main. Main. Home facts. Home facts. Work facts. Work facts. Other facts. Other facts. Pager. Pager. Other. Other. Add custom label. And I can also make a custom label if I want to. But I'm going to keep mobile, but I just wanted to show you what the different options are here. So you can have a phone number or a contact number for each of these categories. But in this particular instance, I'm going to just keep mobile. So I'm going to use the scrubbing motion, which is scrubbing with two fingers to close this little dialog box. Label. Heading. Selected. Mobile. Text field. Is editing. Smith. And then I'm going to flick again. I'm going to flick to the right. Clear text. But mobile. Button. Mobile button. Activate we, to choose type. That we just came from. Mobile. Phone. Text field. Double tap to edit. So again, like I said before, I'm now in the mobile phone text field. So I want to double tap to move voiceover's focus to this field doesn't always make an announcement. One way for me to check, though, is by flicking away from this field. Mobile button. Mobile. And back to Text it. field. Is editing. Phone. So that last bit that says is editing gives me an indication or tells me that this is the text field that currently has focus. So I'm going to put in the phone number here. Seven, eight, nine, nine, one, one, six, seven, seven. Ring tone. Five, four, three, three, three. Zero, zero, seven, seven, one, five, five, nine, zero, nine, nine. Mobile button. Mobile text field is editing. Nine one seven three three zero dash seven thousand one hundred fifty nine. Okay, now I know that the phone number is in there and it's correct. Clear text button. iPhone button. One other thing to note, once you're in a particular edit field and, and VoiceOver's focus is on that edit field, right next to that 
field is also a clear text button. So in case you made a mistake and you want to clear it and start all over, you can just flick to that button. Clear text button. Double tap it and it'll clear that field. I'm not going to do that now, but just so that you know it's there, it does come up frequently. And I'm going to flick again. iPhone button. Okay, so here's, here's the next field that's available on the screen, and it's labeled as iPhone, but again, just like we looked at the previous list of options, you can we can open up that list here and make any changes to the label and then add the phone number. iPhone, phone. Okay, that's the edit field. Home, button. So you can have as many phone numbers or contact numbers as you wish. Home, ringtone, button. You can set a customized ringtone if you like by coming to the ringtone button and double tapping that and then just going and selecting the different ringtones that are available. Ringtone, default, button. Okay, so right now it's set to default. Homepage, button. Homepage, URL. If this person has a website, you can also have their URL here. Insert add new address, button. Again, as much contact information as you might have, you can add it here. We're not going to put all the information into these fields, but it's good to know that they're here. So we can do an address. At new address. Notes. Button. You can make notes, Activated. right? Like let's say Bill's personal assistant is named Jill. So whenever she picks up the phone, you can refer to her by name. So you can make notes about that kind of stuff here. Text field. Insert add field. Add field. Okay. And as much information as you think is important for you to have, you can add to this contact. Once I'm done, I'm going to look for the done button. Text done button. Okay. And once I find the done button, I'm going to double tap it. And my new contact has been added. Done. All contacts. Contact index. So now I'm back in my main contacts list and I should have uh, the two people that I've added to the contacts list today. Let's see if they're here. Search. Search selected. Bill Smith. Okay, Bill Smith is here. Lynn T. And Lynn T is here. So whichever one's contact information I would like displayed, I can just double tap on that and it'll be displayed on the lower part of my screen. I can have multiple contacts here. I can have as much information on each person as I like or as little information as I like. Add contact image. And here's where you can upload a photo of a person if you like. Bill Smith, mobile. Right, so this is the contact information of the currently selected or the last selected contact. Notes. Okay. FaceTime button. There's a FaceTime button so that you can launch FaceTime directly from the contacts app. FaceTime is a video conferencing software that's included with the iPad that we'll be discussing and demonstrating in a later video. Add to favorites button. If I have a large number of contacts, I can add this person to my favorites list so that I can get to that number relatively quickly. Edit button. Edit allows me to make any edits, obviously, to the contacts list, like deleting a contact or making any changes. And that's it. That's the last field in our contacts list. So there you have it. Adding a contact, it takes a lot of steps, especially if you have a lot of information. But once you have all that information in this app, it's really very handy and just takes a second to get to it. I'm going to close that. Contacts. Double tap to open. And we're, there we have contacts.